Welcome back on this Sunday morning. And as we get near the end of summer, we thought we'd do a little wellness check. Something a lot of people don't realize is that how they feel is largely determined by what they feel. And Dr. Carmen Harris joining us this morning to talk about the effects that our emotions can have literally on our physical well-being. Good morning, first and foremost. Thank you, Pat. It's so good to be with you. It, uh, it's always good to be with you, and my emotions are surging. I feel happy when, when you're here. Uh, but, the, but the point being, this is real science that we're talking about. I mean, there's there's been a lot of talk over the last couple decades about the mind-body connection, but literally, your, your emotions can make you sick. Because emotions that are toxic emotions that are trapped within ourselves, uh, there is a scientific way to prove that they can actually cause diseases. What happens is for every single emotion, there is a hormone that is, is released in the body. There is a chemical that is released in the body. If you feel good, like you say, mm -hmm. there's a feel-good hormone that is released. Mm -hmm. If you had bad news, if you lose somebody, if you go through a divorce, there's a bad, harmful chemical that travels through your bloodstream and the cells have receptors and those receptors will allow that chemical that is negative to penetrate the cells and the cells will be affected and they're not going to function normally so consequently a disease will start to be produced because the immune system will start to weaken mm -hmm. and we we're going to start to see a lot of autoimmune disorders like it's an epidemic of Hashimoto in the young generation epidemic of uh, type 1 diabetes mm -hmm. and cancer and we don't have have really an answer for all of these diseases consequently we don't know how to cure them but the answer is those toxic trapped emotion within ourselves so we need to do something about it. and the first thing that we need to do is identify the type of emotion that we have mm -hmm. and the source of the emotion mm -hmm. so I always tell everybody try to find out your dominant emotion write it down during the day what emotion is coming frequently is it hate is it fear anger. is it anger mm -hmm. is it envy and find the source. Is it because of a circumstance of situation? Is it because of a person? So when you find the source, there is a way to work with that emotion because mm -hmm. that emotion at the level of the brain, uh, it, it starts to, to accommodate. So the brain allows that emotion to continue to exist and the nerve cells will multiply as a result of that emotion. Mm. So consequently, what happens in the brain, it creates an emotional habit of behavior. Uh -huh. So people tell me all the time i'm trapped in this relationship no you're not trapped in a relationship in a job situation in an environmental you trap in your emotional habit mm -hmm. that's where the problem is and because you trap in an emotional habit you trapped into an emotional behavior problem and from there you develop a bipolar disorder mm -hmm. you develop a mental disorder this stress is the way anxiety the, etc the, yeah. the anxiety and this is the way because those uh, nerve cells continuing to multiply you're actually getting worse so how do we so make it better we make it better by allowing to identify the the type of emotion that we having the source of the emotion and releasing it in a healthy way and focusing it's on the positive things the in your positive life. Count your blessings. the blessings uh, yeah, and the, n the brain can be rewired by changing the situation, the circumstances, and by practicing music, affirmation, try singing, meditation, meditation yoga, meditation, there yoga, are ways. everything. There are ways, you know, to shift the energy around and make your life better and don't allow negative emotion to exactly. be trapped within yourself. Dr. Carmen, I can't <laughs> thank you enough. And we're coming right back with more today in New York. Thank you for that wellness check. <laughs> thank you.